Jock the Croc by S. M. Robert. In deepest, darkest Africa, where wild creatures flock, was born a tiny crocodile whose mother named him Jock. His father was surprised and said, You should have called him that. Give him a decent crocodile name like Archibald or Bat. But mother disagreed and said, now, father, let's not row. Scottish names for reptiles are popular right now. When Job began to talk, his words took on a Scottish lilt. Some mother bought him from Dundee an orange tartan kilt. Crocodile's attempts at dressing usually end in failure. It's the anatomical challenge and a lap of reptile tailors. Muddy riverbanks are where teenage crocodiles play, but Jock would sit alone and blow his Scottish pipe all day. This Scottish lark has got to stop. He makes you look too foreign, said Uncle Pat. But with a wink, he handed him a sporran. On Sundays, Mother cooked a roast but father said, The fact is, this son of yours will only eat a bowl of oats and haggis. It's many years since Jock was born. Folk ask me every day, Is Jock still there? And if so, where? And this is what I say. I heard there's a city where streets are lined with heather that's full of Scottish crocodiles enjoying the African weather. I'm told they're called the Jokerbites, a patriotic clan, all dressed in orange tartan and rarely seen by man. So, the next time you're in Scotland, or walking by lock, or maybe you're in Africa, and there, remember Jock, and if you glimpse some tartan from the corner of your eye, or think you hear a highland pipe when nobody's nearby, you know it's Jock upon the pipe, somewhere close at hand. If you look along the bank, you'll spy his footprints in the sand. But if perchance you meet him and he looks you in the eye, You'll be sounding like a Scotsman before a week's gone by. And if you mean to say, no, oh, yes, right now, but say, oh, I don't know. <laughs>